In this video, we'll look at how to use more complex conditional tests with the instructions else if and else. These instructions will allow us to test multiple conditions at once with our program. Conditional blocks are very important and will let us make more complicated programs later, so understanding how they work with these instructions if, else, else if, and end if is very important. In the previous program, we set variable 1 to be the RSI of 14 periods. Variable 3 is a boolean which is either true or false with the number 0 or 1. Here it's true. And our first condition was if variable 1 is less than 50 and close is greater than open and variable 3 is true, then result equals 10. And then we ended our conditional block with end if. On the chart here, we can see that very early the result was defined as 10, and then it stays that way for the rest of the program, because as soon as this condition was verified, we didn't tell it to do anything else, so result just stays with the value 10. We're going to modify our conditional block with the else if instruction. That means that if our first condition is not the case, then the second else if condition will be looked at. Else if is just written like that. We can say else if variable 1 is greater than or equal to 80, then result equals 5, and if. Now let's click add indicator to chart. And here we can see that sometimes the variable of result is 10 and sometimes it's 5. Because first the program will look at this line. If this condition is true, then result equals 10. Else if or otherwise if this condition is true, then result equals 5. And we still end the conditional block with the end if instruction. In addition to else if, we can also use else. Else in programming just means otherwise. So we could say else result equals zero. So here we have if condition one is true, then result equals 10. Else if condition two is true, then result equals five. Else result equals zero. Let's click Add Indicator to update the chart. And now here we see that sometimes the value is 10, sometimes the value is 5, and sometimes the value is 0. We can actually modify the display method by clicking here and define a histogram just so it's a bit easier to see. And we could also remove the color zone here. So there, we see sometimes the value is 10, sometimes it's 5, like right here, and then sometimes it's 0, depending on the conditions we've defined in our program.